Christine, for Catholics across the world, Holy Thursday is synonymous with the Last Supper. Well, this year, families can't break bread together, which is why this soup kitchen is so needed. More rice, please. The soup kitchen at the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary Parish is a well-oiled machine. Balanced meals are prepared, cooked, and packed, ready to be given to the thousands of people who have relied on the soup kitchen since the coronavirus pandemic began. Last Tuesday, uh, 130 people uh, came to, to take advantage of the, of the food pantry. Um, last Thursday, for the soup kitchen, we had uh, a little bit over 220. The latest data from the New York City Health Department shows Hispanics make up 34% of the city's coronavirus deaths, higher than black people who make up 28% and white people who make up 27%. The figures are one part of why the food pantry is an essential resource, especially in an immigrant-rich community like Jamaica. Many uh, uh, members of our community are losing their jobs uh, right now out of this crisis. Um, the numbers have increased. Holy Thursday is when the Eucharist was instituted, and every year it's an important day for Catholics to receive the body of Christ. But this year, they can't. Instead, the soup kitchen is a way to let people know God is with them. The food pantry, the, the, the soup kitchen, those are now our charitable Eucharist. It's another way uh, to share and to express the same mystery. The parish holds a soup kitchen every single Thursday and a food pantry on the first and third Tuesday of every month, as well as a home delivery service for seniors and the disabled, all in an effort to feed as many people as possible during this crisis. In Jamaica, Jessica Easthope, Currents News. Christine. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.